Hi everyone, so now we will learn that uh, how we can get the text input value in React Native and along with that we will learn some more operations also like how we can clear the text input, how we can add the style with the text input and all. So simply you can say that we are handling a text input in React Native now, right? So first of all we need to make a text input and we have to define the state for that. Because if you just want to get the value and print the value from text input, then variable is not enough in React or React Native both. We must have to use state there, all right? And after that, we will apply some style on text input. We will get the text input value uh, on text change event, right? And uh, after that, uh, on a button click, we will just clear the text input value as well as state. And at last, we will cover some important interview questions also. So this is our emulator. We, here we can check the output and this is our code editor. So we are working on uh, this app.js file. I am just hiding this explorer so that we have more place to code there, right? And uh, first of all, I am just importing their uh, text input, right? So whenever you will just uh, use the VS Code Studio, uh, if you just uh, start typing there, then it will just give the hint there and it will be imported from React Native. You can just simply enter there and th that will be imported and mentioned in the uh, here you can see that in third line so after that what we can do <coughs> we can add a placeholder because till now you cannot see any uh, tint, uh, input box there because this is uh, a bit transparent right so now i am using their placeholder enter your uh, name or something and now you can see that there right so if i'm just clicking over there I can type something there but this is bit little bit smaller and this is not look like a proper uh, you can say that uh, uh, text input so I am just adding some style there so for that firstly I will add style in uh, in line then just I will make it uh, the uh, internal style uh, style so that you just get to know that how we can use the inline as well as internal so for that first of all what I'm going to do there I will just add the font size it could be let's say 20 after that uh, uh, color could be let's say blue or red whatever you want and uh, border here you can see that border width could be let's say 2 and uh, border color again you can it can be blue now you can see that this is much better and because there is a no space in left and right so what i'm going to do there i'm just adding the margin on all sides so 10 margin now this is uh, look like uh, actual at input box so what i'm going to do there i am just uh, because this is the internal inline style sheet so i am converting it to the internal style sheet and for that what we need to there need to do there first of all we need a style sheet we need to import the style sheet and let's take a constant you can put any name to that constant let's say i'm just putting a styles and just simply use the style sheet dot create and this is a function here we can pass uh, any object or any kind of style so I am creating an object with the name of text input, right? And I'm just simply pasting our style there. Even you can just uh, separate in a different, different line and you can format it also. And now you can see that we, ha we have an error there because uh, we just use a style property, but this is empty. So there you just need to put here styles dot our uh, object name, which is text input. And again, you can see that this is working perfectly fine. So after that, uh, we need a state as I told you. So I am just uh, defining a state. I already told you that what is the state, why we use that and how we can just import and use it. You can watch our recent videos. Link is given in the description box. So name and set name. I am taking the two element of array from use state. And by default name, let's say, uh for a moment i am putting there a name and uh, i am creating a one more text and just uh, printing our name state there here you can see that we got the name uh, anil perfectly fine so by default i am just making it empty 
okay and uh, after that i am just adding a event own uh, change text and uh, it will basically return the text there so we can just update the name there set name and we need to get a variable from that uh, arrow function and pass to the state all right and now stated is printed there so if i'm just typing something there so let's say i'm just typing there hello you can see that this is also printing to the above because uh, we are just updating with the state uh, state on the own uh, change text event and this state is displayed there so this is whatever i am just typing or just uh, entering with the keyboard then this is working right all right so let me just add some more text like your name is perfect so now let's say you want to clear this uh, uh, text and uh, this uh, uh, state on the behalf of a button click then how you can do that so let me just import a button also and after that i am just uh, typing the adding the title let's say clear uh, input text input and here we have button so on that i am just updating this uh, state like we are just updating inside the own change text so on press we event we have so there i am just making this uh, set name empty perfect and now you will find that let's say i'm just putting some name let's say peter or uh, just some other with the this keyword keyword and if i'm just clicking on a clear text you can see that the state is cleared from there but still we have data inside the uh, text input how we can clear it for that you have to use the value props of this and this value should have the name state as a value right so now if we will just clear this name uh, state name the value is also uh, getting clear so let me just add there peter All right so in the state and uh, in uh, input text we have both on places we have the text and if i'm just clearing over there this is cleared from the both places so with that way we can clear the uh, text box so if we are talking about interview question there can be three question first thing uh, they can ask like uh, just write the code to uh, get the value from the text input right and second thing how we can clear the text input on the button click third thing they can ask that like how we can just provide the validation to the this uh, uh, text input and the answer of this question i will give you in the upcoming video uh, because uh, soon i will just make a video uh, like how we can apply the validations how we can validate the data of input box and all right so thank you guys thank you so much for watching this video and uh, i will request you to please subscribe my channel like this video and uh, put your valuable feedback in comment section thank you guys